So there's things you post online and then there's the life you actually live. What would it take? How would you feel if you showed the life you actually lived? Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Denayo, and today we're talking all about the life you actually live versus what you want to show online. How close are they? How different are they? Are you a liar for not sharing it? Okay. Today's book is The Lives We Actually Have. The authors of the book are Kate Bowler and Jessica Ritchie. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is devotionals and affirmations, okay? So this is not your typical book, right? So it's not a novel. Look at how it's laid out. This is actually a series of short poems. I've never done a review of poetry. Maybe it's my new thing. <laughs> This isn't a book you pick up and you read cover to cover and I'm a read cover to cover girl. Even if someone gives me a book and they're like, read chapter seven, it's amazing. But this one was really fantastic because when you're having a rough day, that's when you pick up the lives we actually have and you just read a passage, okay? So let me give you a couple of the sections. There's poems about bless this lovely day, bless this grief stricken day, bless this ordinary life for when you're stretching your heart, Bless this tired life for when you're running on fumes. And you can just pick out a poem and read and it's just like, God, I know I've created this business. I know I'm running hard. I know I'm being everything for everybody, but please bless me because I'm, in a, I'm tired in a way that only you'll understand, right? And there was definitely a time in my life, most of them were during law school, where I would literally just pray, God help, period. Full sentence, God help. <laughs> and this book reminds me of those times. It's at those times when you're like, I started this business three years ago. I'm working really, really hard. I'm at a plateau. I'm really ready to hit that next level. I just don't know if I can do any more. And you pick it up and you're like, I literally don't have any more words. And you read a passage from this and you're like, that was what I would have said if I could have said it. Thank you, right? And this book also helps you to be seen because you feel like, well, if they wrote those words, clearly they were feeling that way or they're creative to where they wrote it down. And you're just like, I'm not the only one to have ever felt this emotion, right? So this book both helps you feel like you've been seen and provides the words when sometimes there just aren't any words, right? So the reason I mentioned my husband moving downstairs is because this isn't something I would show online. I just don't know how I would tie that into being a podcaster and how I podcast part-time and, and how I do book reviews, right? Maybe if I reread Marie Kondo, <laughs> <laughs> how she talks about sharing spaces. But th these aren't the kind of things that I would post, but these are things that are honestly happening in my life. So there's a very fine line between sharing too much and then sharing things that are relevant and then just sharing the cute stuff, right? I have branding photo shoots. I have beautiful glossy photo shoots with my family. So therefore I don't need to post the pictures with my daughter's face covered in ice cream. They're no less real but it is fun to read about and to have an affirmation for the life you actually have, even if it's not the one that you show online, okay? I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so I definitely enjoy this book. I've told a lot of people about it. In fact, I told myself if I read it more than 13 times, like picked it up and found different passages that I would actually buy it and I'm, I'm gonna have to buy it because it's one of those books that I would absolutely pick up again, right? For life after loss, when you're feeling a little bit of survivor's guilt, right for when you feel forgotten by God that's another section in here which I think is absolutely amazing for learning to love yourself how many times do people tell you live a soft life love yourself do affirmations sometimes you need some help and a little bit of coaching for learning to love yourself right and so this is phenomenal okay if you are a believer of God great pick it up if you're not quite sure great pick it up if you just need some realistic affirmation bless this life when i'm tired and i'm just tired of people talking to me those kind of affirmations are in here <laughs> okay so different kind of review to do a review on poetry and affirmations but very very exciting because bless the lives we actually have so if you enjoyed this review check out this review here i mentioned marie kondo but this review is amazing because the book is amazing, okay? There are things that you can do to clean up your space, to, to declutter, to get all of that old baggage out of the way, and it will really, it'll really bless you, all right? So I'll see you in the next review.